Hello, Archimander here, and welcome to the show. So, did you survive your Black Friday shopping experience? Well, yes, I did. Hello, welcome to the show. So, yes, Dollar Tree. This is becoming kind of a tra tradition, tradition for them by putting a whole bunch of DVDs, and there were also games again this time. My uh, local Dollar Tree got... Um, almost like 20 to 22 boxes in of DVDs. Wow. Um, just trying to go through them was... <laughs> I mean, we were there, uh, I think about, about an hour after they opened. Then we, uh, we were in no rush today to do the um, Black Friday thing. A lot of the stuff was online. A lot of it was online. Uh, Walmart had theirs a couple weeks ago that started their Black Friday. Then, uh, of course, today was another part of the last part of the tier of the Black Friday. And then all Cyber Monday, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but um, we went in and picked up a few things from Walmart, a couple other little places. Then, of course, one of my favorite things to do, uh, besides the other stuff that they do, uh, is going around and doing a little road tripping and going to some of the local shops, local shops. Uh, flea markets and stuff and grabbing up some things from there. But let's go through the Dollar Tree haul first, which I think that the movies are just in here. I did not pick up any of the games. There were Xbox One games, which were uh, pretty much the same I had seen before, which were Titanfall 2 and uh, Madden, I think, was one of the other one Xbox One games. But there were Xbox One games again in this thing. Uh, I, and it's funny because, you know, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I got to go to the Dollar Tree because they don't announce they're doing a Black Friday thing. It's just that I know from experience from before that they put a whole bunch of their movies out that they ever get every two or three months. They put a whole crap load of them out the day of Black Friday. So I already kind of knew ahead of time that it was coming because of the pattern. But, um, so I went in together and we went in together and slowly persisted through the movies and I grabbed up a few that I thought were, were good. So I will go through them and I will try not to mess up the titles because <laughs> somebody got mad and messed up the titles. So anyhow, um, uh, this one is Luna. It is a fantasy reality and then in between Luna. So there's Luna. All right, I don't know where I'm going to put these at. I think I'll just try to put them here if they don't stack over and fall down. Then the next one was Intruders, which is two disc set. This is I uh, um, a BBC show. I have, I think I had seen some trailers on it, but never did watch it. But that's the show. So let me, let me move this around. It's going to end up everything's going to end up falling. So then the next one I picked up was Lake Fear Three. The sad part was I couldn't find one and two. So should I watch this one without the other parts? I mean, I went through, went through, we went through like every box trying to find it. So if anybody has one and two, <laughs> let me know uh, if you had them at your Dollar Tree. Uh, so, and okay, oh, yeah, there was no um, weirdos or, or models like that this year. What, I was really hoping to see weirdos or models again or something else, but no. Okay, well, actually, I do have the fight. Here's the first one. Yes, there is Lake Fear. Here's the first one. We did get the first one. I apologize completely. Uh, Lake Fear gets under your skin. Uh, region, region code down there. Hopefully, there's a region code, so hopefully it will work. Should. Okay, it just says, oh, that's the um, new, I guess that's a new thing. It's King Strong Threats of Glore and Horse. I guess that's just a thing I thought it has region code. looks similar. Uh, so I do have like I uh, have one and I have three. I don't have two. Now watch this. There'll be two be in here. So um, the short-lived series, um, Betten, um, not one of my favorite shows, but it is the uh, what's her name from the from Soup uh, Soup not Superman Smallville that played Supergirl. Um, and I don't remember her name right offhand. Uh, Laura. Vanderhoof, 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 <laughs> That's all. A, yeah, get on me about it, people. Go ahead, do it. Um, and then um, Hansel and Gretel get, whoops, Hansel and Gretel get baked. Are they, does that mean they're actually baking? 
or they get baked. Um, so it has uh, Carrie Ellis in it and Laura Van Boyle, I'm sure, maybe in about two seconds of the movie. She's on the box cover. <laughs> so don't fall down. Okay, and I thought this one was really cool because uh, it was green. Green cover, so. The fear is real. The fear is real. The jungle. Look at that cover box. It's pretty cool. Uh, a new predator is on the hunt. The jungle. Okay, cool. So that one. And then uh, the unbiden. The unbiden. The past never dies. Uh, yeah, in my whole life, I'm telling you right now, my past hasn't died yet. And some of it should. It should go away completely. Um, of course, and I've seen this. Um, a Krampus. A Krampus. I don't think I have the Krampus. I need to start going through some of my stuff. Uh, I was I was hoping to get more of these on Blu-ray because I mean there was a lot of Blu-rays, but uh, Superman Two was there. Uh, Superman, the first Superman. Um, I think there was only one copy of the Dark Knight or Batman movie or something like that. Somebody grabbed it up before I did, so I did. I did couple, grab up a couple uh, Blu-rays though. Ugh. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, Agents and Christensen. He's not jumping. He's not time traveling, jumping or anything. And Nicolas Cage and Outcast Legends are born in battle. I'm actually looking forward to that because I'm a, I am a fan of Nicolas in the Cage, big fan of Nicolas in the Cage. And of course, just gonna throw this in there. This is Blade Runner Harrison Ford, Blade Runner the final cut. And hopefully this is the final, final. Or there'll be a final, 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 final cut. And this one uh, just. Just because, okay, don't throw hate out there, but just because I got a double feature that has the Dungeon and Dragons and then Dungeon and Dragons Wraith of the Dragon God. I did not, I have not ever seen the second one. So, the first one's okay. Another Blu ray, which was vinyl. I'm kind of really interested in this. Uh, let me find out. That's why I like to buy these at a dollar. So, if I buy them for a dollar and I don't like them, uh, somebody would be really happy because they show up at Goodwill. And then Nuns, Deadly Confessions. Look at that cover. That scares, scaring me already. Ooh. Look at them. Look at them fingers. So, okay. And then, of course, not last but least, I can't not find my original copy, but I'm glad I found this copy, even though it's DVD and not Blu-ray. Big Man Japan. This is this. It says right in here, truly whacked out, goofy creatures and all. This movie was whack, but it was all good whack. I mean, it was crazy whack. I like it. I need to find my original Blu-ray copy and I can't find it. But anyhow, there was two copies of Big Man Japan, and I'm very happy to add Big Man Japan back into my collection. Okay, so there's the Dollar Tree haul, and I didn't have to fight anybody. There was a lady that was kind of rude. Uh, beside us and she was like well the boxes are all the same the boxes are all the same no, if the boxes are the same why are you going through all the boxes <laughs> that was my question so here comes the thrifting haul uh, Evil Inn and Evil Inn I got her picked her up for a few bucks that, that'll be pretty cool I'm going to sell all this stuff on Macari the stuff I think I'm going to sell on Macari so I'm going to sell her then this really cool uh these are from the early, I think these are from the early 90s. I never did a lot of research on these, but and I have a few. Batman, Batman, the Batman Pepsi cup, the tumblers that are actually glass. So I got Batman, and let me see, we be really careful. And I got Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. I picked that up, of course, yep, glass. Uh, and they're beautiful shape, not, none of the, the paint on these are. Are chipped because most of the time you put them in these you put them in the washing machine and it just chews the paint right the enamel paint stuff right off plus you know i don't want to drink out of them anyhow because of all the cautioning from that so anyhow then it was uh picked up uh, racer x's car and i think i'm gonna sell this on macari too though i love speed racer stuff so i picked this up so it's speed racer from that's from like 2006 then this oh, this is like one of my favorite hauls, which I'm having a hard time holding it up, but this is from 1982, and it is a vintage. I can't hold it all the way up. It is a vintage 
uh, Pac-Man puzzle. No, I'm not selling this. This is going in the lobby slash or in, or the Pac-Man room uh, to go in with all of our other Pac-Man stuff. So there it is. Thank you. So there it is. There was my Black Friday haul. Dollar Tree. You can see them over here. Dollar Tree. Supporting my local businesses with some picking up some toys and some other things. Spread it around. I always try to spread it around a little bit. I have a little budget that I try to, you know, follow. Only so much. Maybe maybe 60 bucks around there and try to find some things. Uh, now, it's time for me to go and watch Big Man Japan. And hopefully you had a really good Thanksgiving. Everybody is staying safe. I know everybody is feeling really cooped up. And I, I completely understand. Uh, try working with P, PPE equipment all over your face and your body where I have to in order to stay safe. So, until uh, next week, please subscribe and thanks for watching and hanging out with me.